Good evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Wednesday, the 21st of July, and I'm Curtis Morton. In our headlines, Windies lose big to Australia in first one day. And in our feature for this evening, we go to the netball archives. We'll take this break and I'll be right back. Nevis remains a place of charm and warm hospitality. As the Minister responsible for health, I would like to welcome all those persons who are ready and rearing to come back to our shores. But as we move towards reopening our borders, we do so with much caution. Measures are being put in place to ensure the safety of all. During this COVID-19 pandemic, we vow to remain steadfast, we vow to remain resilient in saving lives and livelihoods so that we can have a better Nevis. Nevis, lovely Nevis. So welcome to Nevis. I'm wishing you an enjoyable stay. Well, I'm back and we start with athletics. This report from the New York Times. The United States softball team behind the pitching of the ageless Kat Osterman defeated a tenacious Italy team 2-0 as softball returned to the Olympics for the first time since 2008. Earlier, Japan, another contender for gold, got the Olympics started with an 8-1 win over Australia. Osterman, 38 to one gold medal in 2004 and a silver in 2008, came out of retirement for these games. She flew six of the seven innings, giving up just one hit and striking out nine. Monica Abbott pitched the seventh and final inning for the United States and struck out the side. Though Italy could not muster much offense, the pitching of Greta Cicchetti and Alexia Lacatina kept the game close. The United States got only five hits and scored its runs in the fourth and fifth innings on a single and a sacrifice fly. The Japan-Australia game, the first competition of the games, began with a ball and ended with a home run. Mitchell Cox, the lead-off hitter for the Australian softball team, took a low pitch from the Japan pitcher Yoko Yoino in an empty stadium on Wednesday in the first competitive act of the Tokyo Olympics. Now to cricket. Cricket West Indies selection panel yesterday announced a change to the squad for the Sydney Insurance One Day International Series against Australia. Leg spinner Hayden Walsh Jr. replaced all-rounder Russ and Chase, who has not recovered in time from the left thigh injury picked up in the Betway Test Series against South Africa and will therefore not be available to participate in the series. Walsh was named the CG Insurance Player of the Series in the recent CG Insurance 2020 Series, which West Indies won 4-1. He took 12 wickets at an average of 11.66 at an economy rate of 7.00 per over. The CG Insurance won the series will be played at Kensington Oval in Barbados on Tuesday, July 20th, Thursday, July 22nd, and Saturday, July 24th. All three matches are scheduled as day-night encounters, first ball at 2.30 p.m. And in related news, Mitchell Stark took a five-wicket haul as he and Josh Hazelwood dismantled the West Indies in the opening one-day match to give Alex Carey, who had earlier played a key hand with the bat, a winning start as Australia's one-day captain. Carey, standing in for the injured Aaron Finch, had formed the backbone of the Australia's innings with Ashton Turner in a fifth wicket stand of 104 in 19 overs, before Hayden Walsh Jr. sparked a late collapse with a career best five wicket haul. However, Australia's 252, which was adjusted to a target of 257 after three rain interruptions, and causing the match to go to 49 overs quickly looked imposing as Stark and Hazelwood got to work with the new ball to leave the West Indies in a heap at 27 for 6. Stark took three wickets in his first spell and then returned to end the aggressive rearguard action of Kyron Pollard. Pollard hit a 41 ball 50, but the West Indies captain had been left with far too much ground to regain.
The summary scores, Australia 252 for 9, Kerry 67, Turner 49, Walsh 5 for 39, Beat West Indies 123 all out, Pollard 56, Stark 5 for 48, Hazelwood 3 for 11, and Australia won by 133 runs via the DLS method. We'll take this break and I'll be back with our feature for this evening. Well, I'm back, and tonight, netball is in the spotlight. The year is 2015. The Charlestown Secondary School engages the Gingerland Secondary School. We also get a word from then Minister of Sports, the Honorable Hazel Brandy Williams. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this, the 2015 Department of Sports, Basketball and Netball Championship between the two high schools, the Charlestown Secondary School and the Gingerland Secondary School. This is the third year for the basketball championship and it's good to see that this year we'll be having a netball championship. So I would like to give a round of applause to all those who organize for the netball. So we are finally going to get the start of the first match. It's going to be netball action. Gingerland Secondary School versus the Charlestown Secondary School and they're going to meet and greet before the game actually begins. And so Lydia Thompson-Claxton, the former West Indies player and Vera Herbert, Nevis Star Center player, they would be given final words instructions to the players what they expect from from them in terms of um, professional play and so they're yeah, getting those instructions now center ball is with the ginger and secondary school team i know it's going to be a loud cheer when the first goal is scored ball will be knocked out very early it's going to be going for the CSS team to attack. Defended nicely. Tyson gets it across now to the goal attack. He gets it to the goal shoot and one shot is a call. She misses well. A little bit of a clash of heads there. But a hand swung across her head there really. He goes now, doesn't hold on to it. Finally does. And back to the goal shoot who is off balance. Gets it across. No, she was out already apparently. And so it's going to be this yes, ball. Grabs on to it. The captain of the team doesn't hold it. But um, swings it across now to the goal defense. Goal defense. Captain passes over nicely. Taken by the wing attack. And I think obstruction by the wing defense for the Charlestown Secondary School team. And so. It's going to be a pass for the Gingerland Secondary School team, taken by the centre. Long, high, low open pass, stepping centre. And uh, she looks a bit guilty, smiles. And Lydia Thompson class and practicing a bit of football over there. As the ball is with which team now? It's with CSS. So it's back with CSS. The wing defence gets it across now to the wing attack and um, a little bit of a bounce ball, goal attack, gets it across now to the goal shoot and Tyson center gets it now and passes to the tall goal shoot and one shot is a call against the nice good. I knew it and uh, loud applause here from the support crew. Center. Gets it across now to the goal attack, back over to the goal shoot and uh, she to the applause of the support crew here. So two goals to nil. 
Shaz down secondary off and running. Gets it across now, can't hold it. The goal defense and it goes out. So two goals to nil. So going now for the chance down team. The wing defense gets it across to the center. Center loops it across to the tall goal shoot. And once she gets it, she's taller than them. She most times will put it in. This makes no a weak effort on that occasion and makes it good. So three goals to nil. Three goals to nil. They're celebrating. Place and center. Pass it across to the wing attack. Wing attack gets it across. Not quite. Knocked away and a bit of a grab situation. Bounce passes. Alicia intercepts. It's back now towards the goal attack. Goal attack. Nicely intercepted there. Over now to the tall goal attack. And uh, penalty pass indicated by Lydia Thompson Plaxton. So it's now with the captain of the JSS team. Loses it now to Cesar. Cesar with the ball. Swings it straight to the goal defense of the JSS team. Can, Alicia, can she keep it in? Wing defense stepping is the call. And so should have stopped when she grabbed the ball, kept running. And uh, so over third is the call. So it's this Cesar's ball. So. It's going to be Jason's ball now. Jason goes. We will have it. Blows the whistle. And a nice little crowd gathering here. JSS has the most support, but um, their team yet to score goal. Yeah, I could imagine the noise when they score one. Haven't had a shot as yet. Here goes. Grabs at it now, passes off and step in goal defense. Step in goal defense and she isn't happy with that call. And it's going to be back with CSS. CSS ball. Win defense. Nicely defended. Where's the goals? So Bea Herbert right on top of it there, blowing the whistle. And uh, it's going to be Tyson, center, intercepted nicely, Jesus. Can she hold it? Knocked away and out. They have the big crowd, but I don't think they're getting the support that they want. Now. Nice intercepted there by Olise, but um, still with Gingerland. Nice intercepted by Tyson. Grabs, goes down one of them. Back on her feet now. Staying long. Can she finally get it over to the. Yes, she grabs it. So can we get a shot in for Jesus? Finally, we have a shot. And she makes it good. Well, you'd think that. Um, you'd think that. Um, a motorcade or something is going to come next. One to three is the score. One shot is the call, so it doesn't make it good. And off the Jesus play goes out. So, back with Jesus. Join. Not so, but only to the wing attack. And uh, it's going to be. Cesar's ball and she doesn't make it good the goal defense gets it across good work by Tyson and she reached quite a long way up she's not the tallest of person she may have injured herself in the process and uh, here goes now the goal attack goes in looking for some help here gets it across and uh, grab 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 and it goes out so it's still Three goals to one, I think it is. Cross now to the center. Nicely intercepted there by Alicia. Ball goes out. Now, 
Let's go some help past his dog now, looking for it. And intercepted, but the whistle had gone. So it's going to be Cesar's ball. Over now to the center, center. Low from the pass, wrapped by the captain and defender. Nicely taken by the wing attack, looking for some help. Nicely taken by the center, hard to run and knocked away by Odyssey. Well, well, well. It looks as if we're going to have the end of the first quarter any moment now with PJ Harina Ryan. And that's it. That's the first quarter. And the score at the end of the first quarter is three goals to one. Three goals to one at the end of quarter number one. Can they get some very noisy now the third support? Good work here, great work. Oh, they're getting more done as the four is over. And another one goes down. Oh, yeah, they can really up here now. Well, they're very noisy. They're very noisy up here now. They're enjoying themselves. Definitely enjoying themselves. Same continues on the court and off the court. Seems to be more action off the court than on the court. I can tell you that. Oh, that's that the Mexican way. Well, there goes my wing attack. Defending nicely. And the ball goes out. <laughs> it now with a shot. Makes it good. Well, well, well. Oh, you think that one to get. Step in the car. Why the ball too long? So once he has held it that long. Good pass, good pass again. Stepping up the play nicely here. Very aggressive work. She grabs onto it. The whistle has gone though. And so. Long pass. You can't keep it in there. Happy up there in the stand. Oh, they love it up there. Minister, the Honourable Hazel Brandy Williams, and she just witnessed the CSS GSS netball matchup. Your thoughts, Minister Brandy? I am really happy and surprised that so many persons have turned out to witness the first in a series of netball matches between Gingerland Secondary School and Charleston Secondary School. I am really heartened because for a period we would have thought that netball was on the decline but the turnout here this afternoon is an indication that there is still an interest in the sport and I must commend the organizers for putting together such a timely event. It is my understanding that today is the first in a series of three matches that will be done on the three consecutive Friday afternoons. And so I'm encouraging persons to give the students, the players, their fullest support. In terms of the game, the, the children are young, they are new, and you can see that there is a lot more work to be done in terms of cementing the, the, the rudiments of the game. But with constant practice, I am certain that they, in time, they will become full-fledged netball um, players. I am indeed happy and grateful to um, Lydia Claxton, Jamia Claxton, and all those persons who would have organized this um, mini tournament. I would like to encourage them to continue so that we can get 
netball back to the sport that it once was in Nevis. That's our package for this evening. I am Curtis Morton reminding you that you can watch sports if you are not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and sacrifice. Have a good night.